Jada. And I'm Jayla. And we're here with you with it. On Tuesday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 60 and a low of 44. On Wednesday, it'll be cloudy with a high of 46 and a low of 28. Thursday, it'll be sunny. 48 degrees high and 33 degrees low. What is Cyber Foundation all about? Cyber Foundations is a basic introduction to computers and how to use Google Docs, Google Slides, spreadsheets, and an introduction to HTML, which creates web pages, and I think we're doing JavaScript, which helps us to create um, interactive cards and games. Welcome to GNN News. I'm Gabby. And I'm Nancy. Today's topic for discussion is climate change. Climate change in winds is when there's an increase in greenhouse gases that trap carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There's a lot of conspiracy surrounding this topic. Like, did we actually cause global warming? Or is global warming something completely natural and beyond our control? Well, during the late Creatius period, the Earth's atmosphere held several times more carbon dioxide than there is today. And that, as that is true, now might be completely due to us because of the amount of carbon dioxide that we are putting into the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution. True. Around that time also, there was a lot of volcanic activity. CO2 was being poured into the atmosphere. A lot of CO2. Um, I think also around that time, that's when the dinosaurs went extinct. So. If it gets too extreme, we're going to go extinct as well. And that's what a lot of people's fears are and that are making a huge thing about this climate change. But if it is something that's out of our control, what really can we do about it? We can't do much to stop Mother Nature. And if we do stop releasing that much carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, what, what if it goes, it reverses, but then what if we end up going into an ice age or something? If we get to the extreme point, but on the other side. Well, think of it a different way. We're always talking about how CO2 is the main greenhouse gas that we are pouring into the atmosphere and that's causing all this trouble, but CO2 isn't the only greenhouse gas. There's several other types of greenhouse gas. One particular greenhouse gas has, that is a lot more in the atmosphere than CO2, like there is a whole lot more of this than there is CO2, and that is water vapor. There is so much more water vapor in the atmosphere than CO2. And water vapor is a very important greenhouse gas that traps tons of heat. But we never talk about it. So, are people constantly trying to make it? I feel like a lot of it could be just something to make people be like hyped up about it, which is something that's really popular in our time. A right way now. to control how much carbon dioxide. Yeah. And at the same time, how much industry, how much we're manufacturing things. If if global warming is sort of fabricated and it isn't such a really like if it isn't actually such a major deal then we can control. if it isn't something we can tr control and we're putting it out to be something we can control then maybe it's being put out that way so that we can control the industries we can control how much they're manufacturing and that is all for gnn news see you next tuesday bye What are your biggest responsibilities for show choir? Um, as the director, some of my responsibilities are I choose the show that they're going to take to competition every year. We get a theme, we pick costumes, stuff like that. I'm also responsible for choosing a choreographer. Uh, this year we chose somebody to actually write the music in the show. And then I just rehearse them day to day. I teach them the music, I teach them the dances, all of that. What are your expectations for show choir girls? For their competition next week, um, we're going up against Northwest Rankin, who beat us at our last competition. Um, so I kind of want to wipe the floor with them. Can you give us a preview of your upcoming songs? Um, we have a House of the Rising Sun, Witch Queen of New Orleans, That Old Black Magic. Oh, I put a spell on you and. Um, magic dance. What are your expectations for the upcoming competition? Um, I expect us to like do our best and fix all of the mistakes we made at the last performance and get all of our um, dances on time and our quick changes and I think 
it'll be a good competition. How do you prepare for a show? I just like focus. I try not to stress about it because I've done it before. I've done it once before. I just try to like keep my mind off of things. Tuesday morning for WTMS 8M and Friday morning for WTMS.